Well, it truly is quite a magnificent setting here today in the Olympic Stadium. The Roma fans hoping to sing their team to another three points and another championship. Pierluigi Colina is the referee today, returning to the limelight after being left out of the refereeing lineups for the big games in recent times. The champions Roma are clinging on to their title, two games left. There can be no slip-ups now, as they must rely on both Inter Milan and Juventus to falter if they're to retain the title. Chievo in the all-yellow. A team that, on the road, is prepared to have a go pretty much anywhere. They pulled off some surprise results in some very well-known stadiums this year. But their only heavy defeat so far this season came at the hands of Roma at home. They lost by three goals to nil, the only time this season that they have been beaten by three goals. So perhaps Roma have what none of the other teams have, and that is an insight into just how to really beat this Chievo lineup. down the line and very quickly at the back was Christian Panucci who's employed as a right fullback today it's a straight 4-4-2 formation and that man in your shot just before was Italo Gabbiati the assistant coach of Roma more on him in a moment as Del Vecchio plays it across and Montella was just half a metre behind the cross Well, Del Vecchio, who will operate an attacking role on the left-hand side of the park. So Roma coming out hard. Samuel just laying it forward to Panucci, who goes back to Aldair. There's no Fabio Capello on the bench today for Roma. Cafu takes the shot over the bar. Capello banned after his outburst last week in the final seconds of the match against AC Milan. Roma had a free kick. I'll continue that story in a moment because what we're seeing is a rare spot of trouble on the terraces here at the Olympic Stadium. The referee blew the final whistle before Roma could take the free kick and he was absolutely furious. And he got a one-game ban from the bench as a result of that outburst. And as we see there, Fabio Moro into the back of Del Vecchio. Whichever way you look at it, it's an ugly looking challenge. Del Vecchio back on his feet. The talisman for Roma is missing today, Francesco Totti. As the free kick comes in. It's a loose ball, but... Chievo have got enough men back, but Del Vecchio's free on the left. He's got a lot of time. That's across the goal. Well, Lupatelli never really collected it, but he did enough to stop it. There's no Condola in this Roma lineup today. He's suspended. So they'll miss his natural left-sided play on that left side of midfield. Well, there were bodies in a little cluster there for Chievo. There were a lot of Roma players in offside positions, but Del Vecchio wasn't one of them. And his shot was going in the corner till Lupatelli got his hands down. That's Luigi Del Neri. And quite surprisingly, is. Looking like he'll be at Chievo next season as well. And that's a clear push in the back there. Not in a great position either. Emerson just a little bit too forceful there on Corradi. So Eugenio Corini, the number five for Chievo. 
Likely to be the man to take it. He kills it! Well, that just thumped against the crossbar there from Carini. What a great free kick. The goalkeeper was beaten, Antonioli. Unfortunately for Roma, the rebound fell to a Roma player. Carini's got nine goals this season from midfield. Six of them penalties. Here's Del Vecchio across. Batistuta! Cafu comes in. Well, it's a corner. But this is a rip-roaring start to this game. Batistuta never really hit it solidly, and Lupatelli was down waiting for it. And he just kicked the ball away. And the header comes in, and this time it's a goal! And Montella is the man! Well, the only thing happening on the terraces now is singing and cheering and hugging because Montella has got Roma off to a great start. Cafu back across the goal. Montella with a great header, really. In fact, it was Emerson who played it back over. He outjumped his man, Montella. He had plenty to do as the ball came to him. Yes, he does have the Midas touch at times. He was a major figure in Roma's run into the championship last season. He's playing his part again here. Roma won Chievo nil. Tomasi, Roma not letting up the pressure at all. Montella, brilliant back heel. Cafu! Oh, he's missed it! And you hear the cry of anguish from Montella in the back of the net. Fantastic back heel there. Cafu across. Batistuta missed it. Del Vecchio got to the ball, but he put it wide. Well, Chievo hanging on by a thread here. They've been overwhelmed by this Roma start. And that's Simone Perotta. Limping to the sideline. That's Astuta. Del Vecchio. Will be looking to make amends for that miss as soon as he can. That's played across. Montella was waiting stationary in the centre. Did have a surprising amount of room, but the ball didn't quite reach him as Batistuta ran in front. That's a confirmation of it. Simone Baroni coming on for Perotta. Yet another club junior making his mark in the first team this season for Chievo. Cafu, who has been operating mostly on the right, even though it was likely he was going to be down the left. And there is another goal! The aeroplane does it again. Flying high is Montella for the second time in the first half. Well, once again, he showed his ability to outjump his marker. That's a great leap. A player at the front and a player behind him. He outjumped them both. Perfect timing. There was a handball on the goal line there, which I'm not sure whether the referee saw, because the pace on the header from Montella. Well, it flashed past everybody for another Roma goal. So this is a blistering start. Here come Chievo. A rare attack for them, and Antonioli forced to make a save with his feet. And they've won a corner. Finally, something for Chievo to cheer about. 
at the attacking end of the ground. They have been under the hammer from Roma. Haven't been in brilliant form of late. Roma, they've drawn two of their last three games and only won two of their last five, so it's not quite the barnstorming finish to the championship run-in that they had a year ago. But certainly so far today, everything we've seen has been top class. Here's the man at the centre of most of it too, Montella. Verona just got his head in the way. Italo Galbiati, the assistant coach for Roma. He'll be well happy with the way things are going so far. Lima just nodding it back to Antonioli. Panucci forward is Cafu. Tomasi tried to play it on early. Battistuta got a touch. Here's Montella. What can he come up with this time? Nothing really, but it fell nicely for Battistuta. Battistuta across. Montella's on a hat trick. All desperate defending from Kievo. They really do look at sixes and sevens at the back, and it's not often this season that anyone's been able to say that. Superbly marshalled by Luigi Del Neri. That's a free kick against Roma. Here, Luigi Colina will be going to the World Cup in Asia, representing his country. And he was trying to coax the Kiovo player to get up and carry on, but he's changed his mind. That's the challenge there coming in from Emerson. So, Roma. They drew nil all with their title contenders, Juve and Inter Milan at home, but have beaten every other visitor to the Olympic Stadium this season, bar one. Been quite irrepressible at home at times at the Olympic Stadium and that's how they've been in the first half here they have just bombarded Kiova really just way too much artillery with Montella the big gun through the middle with two goals in the first half he's on fire and so are Roma it's Roma 2 Kiovo nil coming up later in the show Bologna still on course for fourth place and Lazio's old boy Beppe Signori hopes to dash the Roman club's charge for that last Champions League spot. And while Milan is also gunning for Europe, Verona has its own agenda, a win to ensure its Serie A survival. And Parma can do itself a huge favour in the battle to avoid the drop with a victory over relegated Fiorentina. But now let's rejoin Paul Williams at the Stadio Olimpico for the second half of Roma versus Chievo. Welcome back to the Olympic Stadium and Manfredini has come on for Franceschini. He'll take his normal spot on the left-hand side of midfield. Franceschini was seen to be tiring quite considerably in the latter stages of the game last week when he thought he wouldn't start. But Manfredini's on at half-time for him. One of the many finds of the season, Manfredini, for Chievo. Roberto goes down under the challenge there from Lima. Roma 2, Chievo 0. There is one great quality that this Chievo side has, and that's the ability to come from behind in games. They've got a lot to do if they're to turn this one round. No by Tomasi. a nice switch to Manfredini who killed it beautifully it's a 
both teams looking to start the second half well. You suspect that the Kievo goal would see them right back in the game. And then the goal would certainly kill it off. Oh, hit the post, Karate. And he fouled uh, Walter Samuel along the way. Bernardo Karate has made his mark this season with nine goals. There isn't much in that one either. But to Stuta flicks on. Samuel just coaxing it back to Antonioli. Kievo have only won three times in the second round as teams have familiarised themselves with the attacking simplicity of their game. And having said that, they have recaptured fourth place on the ladder as Bologna have slumped quite a bit recently. Baroni turning away nicely. Still going Baroni. That's a great ball for Edoberto. Well, he copped a little kick on the ankle for his trouble there, Eriberto. It was Lima challenging him, the two Brazilians there. I don't think there was any real contact from Lima as Eriberto fell. He just caught Lima running. So Montella trying to slip it through to Baptist. Dutra, he's gone down. That's a penalty, surely. Well, Montella is the man for the job. I'm sure of that. He was the creator of the move anyway. It's just threading it through beautifully for Batistuta. A clear push in the back on him by Lana. Batistuta lay on the ground and glanced back at the referee. Confident of getting the decision, which he did. So Montella now can secure his second hat-trick of the season if he can get this goal against Lupatelli and he does and with that goal his third comes three points surely for Roma even at this early stage in the second half well Montella scored four against Lazio in one game last month he is literally bounding up the goal scorers charts a genuine hat-trick three in a row for Vincenzo Montella and every time he hits the back of the net it further secures his place in Giovanni Trapattoni's Italian World Cup squad that's uh, Carini going off and it's uh, Stefano Lorenzi who's taking his place. Roma 3, Chievo 0. Chievo certainly have got nothing to lose now. It's not that they haven't been willing to go forward today, Chievo. It's just that they have been just forced back by this Roma onslaught. switch a little bit too ambitious aiming for Kafu but only with some time on the ball and he pulls it back across to Manfredini that's his nice play by Chievo first time football Lana clips to the back post Kalani well it was a fine move by Chievo but it went unrewarded, just a little bit too high, and Karate took it on the shin rather than the boot. Making it hard to keep down. And to Stuta, a nice turn from him. Well, he takes it quickly. Referee goes play on. Montella, Batistuta, Batistuta hits the bar. Del Vecchio was it over the line. No goal. Well, here come Roma again, and that's wide.
Well, it's Tomasi who's down. Well, that was over the line, clearly. Not given. That would have been a goal to Marco Del Vecchio. And Battistuta did well. Stayed on side, first of all. That was the hard part there. Beautiful lob over the goalkeeper. Del Vecchio did everything right. He even scored the goal. It just wasn't allowed. Kafu had a try as well, but at this stage the moment was lost. Unlucky Battistuta summing up his season really where he has struggled to find the back of the net. He even suffered the humiliation of being dropped at one stage, which for a man of his stature would have hurt considerably, I'm sure. But it's still only 3-0, maybe it's 3-1. Karate again. The bounce of the ball, not making it easy for Bernardo Karate. So often the case with Kievo, it's been a thoroughly entertaining game, and it's been Roma who are providing most of the highlights, and there's a real problem here. That's Lima in trouble. Oh, look at that, that's very messy indeed. His clash with Ediberto. And both players will have to go off to get some treatment. Right there, oh, the chin of Ediberto into the bald head of Lima. And it's one of those replays that you almost don't want to look at, but at the same time can't take your eyes off. So Ediberto is driven away for treatment. That's Antonio Cassano. He's a patient man, really. He's a great talent. He's not only 19 years of age, but he doesn't have too much of a run. Here's Kievo. Well, keeping in the theme of Kievo's afternoon with some chances, but they've gone high over the crossbar, most of them. The referee has a bit to say to Stefano Lorenzi for the tug on the shirt of Cafu. Kiavo captain Lorenzo Dana doesn't look happy, does he? Kiavo, of course, have their own championship aspirations, even though it's back in fourth place, which they currently hold now. They're desperate to get into the Champions League. While we're waiting, it's uh, Jonathan Zabina coming on for Panucci. And even if Kievo were to get in the UEFA Cup, it would be a great achievement. Oh, it's a free header. And I thought Samuel was up and waiting for that one, but the defender just got in front of him. Look at all the holding going on there. So Lima is back on with one of those hairnet type supports Christian Panucci has done well since arriving at Roma to really solidify his place in the Roma defence to Aldair. Strong South American influence in this Roma team. Here's another one, Emerson. Emerson going all the way. Emerson! Magnificent! Well, the run from midfield were from Emerson was very Brazilian indeed. 
but when he did get through into the penalty area he had the strength to hold off the defender before completing the task but he skipped away from one there he kept going credit to both Batistuta and Montella for providing a distraction with some runs off the ball but Emerson went alone and finished it off superbly Dana there totally wrong-footed Emerson still had a bit to do he protected the ball with real strength and that's a fine goal Roma four Chievo nil. Casano wants to get amongst the thick of things. In matches such as this, players can smell the goals. They all want a piece of the action. Better Studer hasn't had it so far, though. He has hit the crossbar. Montella, what a pass! Cafu, all the time in the world, and he goes it alone and puts it wide. Well, the ball from Montella was quite magical. He was running into the centre looking for number four, but that's not going to happen today because Cassano is coming on for Montella. I'm sure deep down. He's going to be a little bit aggrieved at being taken off. But he has played a major part today. Antonio Cassano, the great young talent that Roma signed from Bari a couple of years ago. He would surely be a starter in most other teams in Serie A. Still learning his trade at Roma. So Batistuta tugged back. Fairly obviously as well by Manfredini. And this free kick is very much in the territory of Asuncao. The other Bra is Brazilian midfielder for Roma, but he's not involved today. There'll be a couple of players who fancy their chances here. Better Stuter among them. There's a hint of handball on behalf of Better Stuter. Okieva well, took a point off another title chaser last week with the 2 2 draw with Inter. But they have been pretty ineffectual today. As Batistuta comes in, and it's a loose ball, that's a tap-in for Cassano. A glance across at the assistant says he's onside, and... Thank you very much, he says. It's not bad, he's barely been on the park a few minutes. And Teller with a wry smile, he probably thinks that that could have been him if he'd still been on. Straightforward follow-up, really, from the striker. Lucatelli, a goalkeeper who gave away a horror goal last week against Inter when he came out and missed the ball completely. He may feel that he could have done better with that one as well. It matters not. Roma, five. Chievo, nil. Karate, that's a great ball, Maratina! Antonioli also taking two attempts to pick up the ball. What a rare bit of brightness in a dark day for Chievo. That's a wild one from Sebastiano Sevilla. Lana. Well, Dovecchio was just hanging out really in the centre of midfield, waiting for it to come to him. Well, Roma and their title ambitions aren't completely in their hands, but they've done everything they could do 
to send out the signal that they are still very much in the hunt. Five goals better than a very impressive Kievo outfit. Three for the man of the moment again, Montella. How often does he come to the party just when he's needed? A hat-trick for him. Emerson and Cassano with the other two goals. And Roma secure another three points in emphatic fashion. Kievo will be wondering what Lazio, Milan and Bologna did today in terms of who will finish in fourth place. But very impressive stuff from the champions. Roma 5, Kievo 0.